Well, it is a small campus. Just a couple of streets here separate the campus from the borough and the downtown area. And students say that tonight they do have some cause for concern. We, I was out with my friends and we get all the alerts on our phone, obviously. So it obviously, as soon as you want to walk back home, you're scared. So the new consensus for the group has just been walking with people, staying with each other, having your phones. It is a weekend that made students think about their safety. I saw the emails, but it was definitely, it was definitely heartbreaking. Students were told about a shooting at this apartment complex. It's outside of Kutztown Borough, but in sight of the college campus. While the university informed the community of the fatal shooting, students say they had little else to go on. I just want to be aware what I should be looking out for, and I'm not, because they don't tell us anything. So what do you, what do you think happened? What is it that you think they're not telling you? I don't know what I think happened, honestly. The DA's office says that the case is still under investigation. An 18-year-old from Reading was killed. No word on suspects. They just kind of said someone was found dead, which is also like, okay, how? Like, what's going on? This is scary. Like, we go to yeah. school here and we're not even aware of what's going on. So you wanted to know. You wanted to know more information about yeah. it right away. It's like, okay, like no foul play, but. What if there was foul play? Students say they also want to know more information on the death of Kellen Bischoff, a 19-year-old from New Jersey and the brother of a current Kutztown University student. He was at a party and then he left for whatever reason and he may have gotten lost because he's not from here and maybe he was looking to find, to get back to where he was and unfortunately he you know, decided to go into the dumpster. The Kutztown police chief says video shows Bischoff climbing into that dumpster. Hours later, a trash truck emptied it. Bischoff was reported missing and later found at a recycling center. The DA says his injuries appear to be from the trauma in the trash compactor, and the case appears accidental. Kutztown's a safe town. I mean, it, it is. We, we don't, we've had, I think I told you, we've had two homicides, one in 2007 and one in 2017. And now, students say these warnings are a reminder to them not to travel out alone, make sure that they don't leave their friends behind, especially leaving things like parties. Again, that shooting happened close to the campus, but is under the Pennsylvania State Police and the district attorney's jurisdiction. We checked in with the DA. He says when there's more to release, he will. For now, that is the very latest reporting live in Kutztown. Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.